Hi all, welcome to the Dragon's Aim High presentation program. We, the kids have worked really super hard on their STEM projects and they're gonna introduce themselves and what their project is and then tell you a little bit about it and see how it works. Um, thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Gus Finnewald. I'm in fifth grade and this is my bridge. I chose this topic because I have always had an interest in bridges and I think the way they stay up is so interesting. The most interesting part of my bridge, in my opinion, is the body of it because it took a lot of work. The first change I made was the ramps because at first they were not, they were just popsicle sticks, but then I found out that that didn't work and they couldn't attach to the body of the bridge. The second change I made, the change I made was I had to add pillars because it wasn't secure without them. At first I researched different types of bridges and I found the Golden Gate Bridge. So that's what I based this off. Then I researched pillars. I found paper to paper towel towel rolls were my best best option. Last I researched ramp and how to attach them. I actually did this at home and my brother helped me. I learned that if one thing didn't work, I would have to keep on trying until one thing did work. And this is a car and it can go down it. And um, it can, it's sturdy enough to hold a book. Good job. Thanks. Hi, my name is Karen Fennel, and I'm in the third grade. My project for Dragon's Aim High is an egg carrier, or better known as an egg drop. I chose this because I like eggs, and I wanted to see he, if I can protect them. I learned that when I wrapped the egg in tape and put in a bed of large marshmallows, it did not crack. I had to change my original plan several times to make it where the egg wouldn't break. I started out with bubble wrap in my original plan. I didn't have enough bubble wrap to protect the egg and, I, and it cracked. So I added more bubble wrap. Then it didn't crack. I wanted to try marshmallows and it worked also. So today I am showing my egg drop using the marshmallows. Some interesting observations while protecting, practicing was that marshmallows made the egg heavier, the egg carrier heavier and a loud sound when dropped. Bubble wrap was lighter and quieter. The tape wrapped around the egg that made it more protected by acting like another layer of shell. Now I will put the egg in the carrier and close the lid. The ladder is nine feet tall. Now I will drop it. Our trusty assistant, Levi Ray, will drop it from the ladder. Three, two, one. Okay, now we will check to see if the egg broke. I think the egg's still intact. Do you see any cracks? I think I might have saw one. Oh, there's a little one. Not bad, you though. You can see the... <laughs> yeah, you can see the inside of it. So it cracked just a little bit, and the inside came out when it dropped. Anything you want to finish with? No. It was a good job. Nice job, Caroline. Catapult Research Report by Evelyn Bishop. Hi, my name is Evelyn Bishop, and I chose the catapult because I like catapults and I like launching things. A catapult was a military device for, for hurling missiles. A catapult works because energy can be converted from one type to another. This energy is stored in the launching device as potential or stored energy. There are many different types of catapults. 
A catapult can shoot from about 500 to 1,000 feet. Another couple words for catapult is fire or flame, and there are a lot more. Make a catapult. To make a catapult, you have to have a pretty big base. You'll also need something to be the body, like straws or popsicle sticks. You'll also need something to have it spring upwards, such as a rubber band. You also need something to have it all stick together, like hot glue or wood glue. I had to make a lot of changes for my original plan because if I had kept it, it wouldn't have worked or it wouldn't have worked as well. I came up with some with some ideas and they didn't work and then some more and they worked. And I just went through that process until I found the perfect way to make a catapult. I learned that making a catapult was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Very good. Hi, my name is Emma Nip and I am a fifth grader. I will be presenting the parachute that I made. I chose parachutes as my topic because I think that parachutes are interesting and I want to go skydiving one day. Some interesting details about my topic is the inventor Leonardo da Vinci sketched the pictures of the parachute in 1485 and his canopy was held by a square wooden frame. The word parachute comes from the French words para, meaning to protect and shaft, meaning fall carefully down and managing to it to it to keep you safe. Some modern parachutes are classified as semi-rigged wing, which means maneuverable, and can make a controlled descent to break on impact on the ground. I ch a change I made was that I took out the box that I was going to put in. I also had to add tape by the hole so it wouldn't rip. The reason I did this is because if I kept the box, it would weigh too much and go down faster. Since I took out the box, it won't go down as fast. And I also added the tape so that the holes wouldn't get ripped and then the string would fall off. During a normal deployment, a skydiver will generally experience a few seconds of declaration of the limb of four to three grams. While the parachute slows the descent from 190 miles per hour to approximately 28 miles per hour, the person who invented the parachute's name was Leonardo da Vinci. The highest you can drop from a parachute would be 18,000 feet. I learned that making a parachute wasn't easy as it seemed. You have to make sure everything is lined up and make sure everything is exactly like it has to be or it will fail because the string, if the string isn't lined up, it will flip sideways and not work. I also learned who made the first parachute and when it was sketched. First, we are going to do the tiny tea bag first. That's a small coffee, coffee filter. Bag. Our helper Levi is going to drop Next, we will do the bigger coffee filter. Pull from the center, Levi. Right here? Mm hmm Next, we will do material. Can get one. And last, we will do a plastic bag. I think that the plastic bag worked the best. Do you think maybe that's because it's the lightest? Yeah. And it opened up quicker? Yep. All right, great job. Hi, I'm Brenton Williams and this is my plane. The reason I chose to make a plane is because they are very interesting. One of the interesting topics about my plane is the wings are just as big as they should be because on a pl big plane, the wings are nearly as big as the plane. The wings I had to change, well, the things I had to change is I changed the front from popsicle sticks to cardboard because popsicle sticks would leave gaps. And I took away the engines because that would slow down the plane because it is not electric. I researched that when the plane goes down, it is called gravity. When the plane goes forward, it is called thrust. When the plane goes up, it is called lift. But when the plane slows down, it's called drag. I think my, the plane will work just fine because the front 
is pointed kind of upward like a real plane, which means air will hit the bottom of the front, which will help the plane stay in the air. I learned that the plane should only have engines if the plane is electric. How do you think it flew? It didn't do very well. It's supposed to fly like this, but it just... You think it was the wings are too heavy? Yeah, it might have been the wings. Awesome. Great job, Brenton. Hi, my name is Maverick Myers. I am in second grade. My project was making a barge. I chose this because I like seeing them flow and carry things on the water. I added pillars and used duct tape to make it waterproof. I changed my original design. It had a top on it and a V-shaped bottom. I struggled with how to make it set up in the water, so I changed it to flat bottom. I learned you have to over lap the tape to make it more waterproof. Now we can see that my barge floats. As you can tell, it didn't take on any water. That is blue, not water on the inside. It is not sinking. And it is not leaking anywhere all the way around. So, great job, Maverick. Hi, my name is Kai Turner. I'm in seventh grade. My original plan was to make a roller coaster, but I changed it to a water slide. I couldn't make the, the tall loops and obstacles. I thought a water slide was the best way to go and it suited it more. Summer is coming, water slides are exciting. I want to build a model of a water slide to experiment with gravity and angles to get my model at the end of the slide correctly. It was challenging to get the model down. I had to make sure there were no flat parts because when there were flat parts, the model would just stop rolling. The sides of my project were not holding right. I had to make sure the model wouldn't roll off. I was having trouble trying to get the marble the marble down the right angle when I released it. I learned that I had to raise the sides higher, that way the marble wouldn't roll out on the edge. When I released the marble, it was going fast, it was jumping the sides. I had to adjust and rearrange things many times, but it was all worth it in the end. My project was a success. I was happy with it. I think it looks nice. I would recommend doing this. It was fun. Now I will demonstrate. Can you do it one more time? I'm gonna go with a better angle. You wanna talk about your details and stuff? So I had like the water and I thought it'd be funny if I put sharks in it. And then I had the side for the Dr. Pepper slide because it's cold and then my tubes in the ladder. One more time for our slide, friends. Thank you. Hi, my name is Addison Ray and I'm in seventh grade. My project is how to make a stethoscope. I had to try different ways to be able to hear. I noticed that you have to leave a hole throughout the whole stethoscope for me to be able to hear all the way up through. I started by using thin wire and black thin loose tubing. The wire was too thin and hard to work with. I also put duct tape around the wire and loose tubing and it didn't work well at all. The duct tape did not stay. The loose tubing was hard to bend and shape the way it needed to be. After that, I decided to try a thicker tubing that was clear, and I took three pieces of the thin wire and braided those together to make it thicker. It worked well. I used hot glue to glue the earpiece section of the tubing and the end of the tubing that listens to the heart together. I used masking tape to tape the tubing and wire together. For the end of the stethoscope, I used little cups and I put a balloon on the end of it so it would be smooth like an actual stethoscope. It is hard to hear a heartbeat, a heartbeat, but if you tap on the end of the stethoscope, you can hear it well. If it is dead silent, you can hear the heartbeat a little. I decided to do this project because I am interested in using a stethoscope in my future. I think that it is super cool to be able to hear somebody's heart. I'm very glad on how my project turned out. 
this was my first design. The tubing was too loose and it was hard to make in the shape and the duct tape did not stay at all. This was my second design one. Uh, it worked really good and if you tap on it, you can hear it. Thank you. Hi, I am Levi Ray and my Dragon Zam High project is dams. I wanted to do this because I like animals and what they do. First, I was going to have a metal pan for my creek or area of water. Then, I was going to use a plastic bottle for the part that blocks the water from the other side. I was, wasn't work, it wasn't working because it wouldn't bend to fit the tray to keep the water out. So, I had another idea, and it was to use a plastic piece of cake lid for the middle instead of the plastic bottle. I also used sticks, mud, and clay. I learned that it is harder than you think to build a dam. Now, we will see if my dam holds water back. Oh, there's a little bit. For the most part, though, it's holding in it. Oh, no. It's keeping most of it back, though. Mm. And that's what a dam does. It doesn't let it all go. It just keeps some of it back. Mm-hmm.